welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel featuring Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. This is your source for authentic tarot and astrology, magic, and manifestation. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I haven't done a mini message like this in a minute mostly because I've been doing other readings and I've been doing my daily polls on Instagram, but I just met up with one of my lovely girlfriends who's very, very spiritual, and we had an amazing conversation. And when we said goodbye, I got in my car and I just kind of sat with the divine for a minute. And I just sat in the presence of the divine and I asked for divine's energy and I asked for divine's guidance for me, for us, and for this moment. And this message came through really, really strong. And the first thing that spirit wants to say right now, or the first thing that spirit said in that moment was, A, you are so capable. B, you are so loved and you belong. And C, every person that is not for you has been removed or is currently being removed from your life. And that was actually the first message that came through while I was sitting in my car, but Spirit was making it very clear that there are certain people, friendships, family members, um, situations around you that specifically are being cleared out. And the reason is that these people are not malicious in their intention. They're not malicious in their energies but the energies and the baggage that is that they carry will be toxic or bur a burden to you and this next chapter that it is that you're entering into in your life right now. Um, Spirit was being very, very clear about the blessing that is currently manifesting or materializing and coming together in your life at this very moment in time. Or this is a, um, a blessing that has already occurred and already happened and that there was a wiping clean of specific energies and specific people that can no longer serve an important role in your life. And for many of you guys, this has left you feeling abandoned or called, called into a space of isolation or without even relationships that you thought were going to be with you through thick and thin, or if you could choose using your own discernment and your own wishing, like if you could wish for anything, you would want those same people by you, or you would want the relationship to look a specific way. Spirit was so funny because the message or the, the visual that they showed me was each human being as like a human sack. And I thought that was so ridiculous and so extreme, but it, it kind of makes sense. And each human sack, each um, one of us individual, individually, we carry our own baggage and we carry our own individual burdens. And sometimes when we are entering into a next stage or a next cycle or the next chapter within our lives, the same people who we, if we were to unload that baggage or unload the sack that we carry and compare it, we may find similarities and we can do an exchange with those people. And for that season in our life, they may serve a purpose, a really important role and an important purpose. But you've been in that phase and you've been in that stage long enough. And spirit says that it's time for the next cycle. It's time for the next wave. It's time for the next blessing. You're not meant to stay here. And when you enter into that next stage in that cycle, you're, there are certain things that you have unpacked so that you can see them, observe them, learn from them, transform and transition and not carry them forward into the next part of your life. And now that you're here and now that this new blessing has been ushered in or this new blessing is manifesting and your new reality is manifesting around you, I, I don't know why I keep hearing the word capable. You, you're fully capable of this next season in your life. So now that you have this new sack of what you are now, there are certain people who cannot match or do not have the tools and the resources to help you at this um, at this stage within your life. And Spirit also is making it very clear that they want you to be very focused. They want you to be very focused and they also want you to be blessed. The thing is, is that if you are trying to carry around people who have different burdens and different baggages and different sacks that don't match where you're at right now, those people who have good intentions and a good heart or people that were once important in your life may actually turn into things that 
wear you down or you may spend so much time trying to make that relationship or make that friendship or make that connection work because they don't have the tools in their sack to match where you are at currently that it will distract you from the blessing and the purpose that you have been ushered into already. So to put this, all of that in a mild statement in a shorter statement, the people that have been exiting and are being ushered to the exit of your life right now, it's not that they have bad intentions towards you. It's just that whatever it is that they're carrying, whatever it is that their identity is, how they move, what their plans are, is not a complimentary match or a part of the grand vision of what spirit has in store for you with the next blessing that you are being ushered into at this moment in your life. And spirit does not want you to be distracted by trying to make it work and by trying to help people too much. Divine sees us all as very unique individuals and that we are absolutely meant to help each other, but we're not meant to handicap each other and we're not meant to hold each other back. And when it comes to that point in your friendship or when it comes to that point in your relationship where the relationship itself is holding you back from your destiny and your purpose or your health and your healing or your happiness, the divine sees you as a treasured human being and will make sure that it is lifting you out of that or lifting things away from you so that you can thrive, so that you can grow, so that you can be prosperous and that you can live a blessed life. Spirit was really clearly telling me to tell you to trust this emptying of certain people's sacks and certain people's presence in your life to not take it personal and to not waste or expend unnecessary energy trying to continue to force relationships or foster relationships that spirit ultimately is moving like the waves and the cycles out of your life. Those people will not be out of your life forever. You will hear of them in the future, but the role that they had, that important role that they had in your life during that season of your life, don't expect that same role moving forward or now presently in this moment. And spirit wants to confirm to, for you that this is absolutely okay. In fact, it's considered exemplary. That's not a word that is that I use, but that's what spirit is sharing, sharing right now. It's exemplary. Spirit is saying the last message, last thing, I'm pretty sure, um, to choose this higher path, choose this path that I have chosen for you, the divine. Do you trust me? Um, give me your trust. Give me your vision. Give me your focus. Keep your eyes on the prize, aka your connection with the divine. If there's anything that imped, it is impeding you from drawing closer to the divine and drawing closer to your higher self and and having a more intimate relationship with spirit, these things will not be taken away from you, but spirit wants to remind you of ultimately what is the most important relationship that is that you're going to have in your life is your relationship with yourself and the higher and the, and the, and the divine or God or goddess or whatever it is that you believe in. Prioritize that right now. Also, I want to say that when I was getting ready to share this message with you guys, I walked by this crystal, this amethyst crystal. And it's so interesting because I keep this on one of my altars in my office it sometimes moves around the house, but usually it's in one of my um, one of the um, altars in the office. And this crystal has always been a crystal that connects to for me to third eye chakra, crown chakra, and it basically is our ability to connect with the divine. And I find it very interesting and significant. I don't know why my camera's having a hard time focusing, but I find it very interesting and significant that I was drawn to this to this um, crystal and also sharing this message with you about drawing closer closer to the divine and also clearing out your energy and your space so that you can actually go into this heightened state. There's no chakra that is higher than the crown chakra, and that's the one that connects us directly to the divine. Many of your relationships are going to be replaced with the closeness of the divine and to really trust that. And I feel like there's going to be more messages that come from that. So feel free to stay tuned. But I just want to give you guys some words of encouragement, some spiritual guidance, some spiritual enlightenment. I hope that this helps you along your path. Um, and I want to thank you guys for even taking the time out to listen to me and what it is that I downloaded in my car earlier. I hope that this message finds you well and meets you with divine timing. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Queen Bee Homestead Co. is the cozy home of Queen Bee Homestead Body Butters. 
Each butter is created with all natural ingredients, including rich shea butter, creamy coconut oil, fragrant rose water, herbs, and high vibrational essential oils. The butters are then whipped to a decadent perfection, which you can use to naturally moisturize and protect your skin from the harsh elements, including UV rays from the sun, and nourish and protect your hair. Explore the Small Homestead's website, where you'll find all of the best-selling blends ranging from Energy Clearing Bad Vibes Shield, which features pure lavender and sage essential oils, to the warm Honey Goddess Body Butter, which features cardamom and actual honey. Shipping is fast to our friends in the U.S. Queen Bee Homestead Co., your source for simplicity, purity, and intentionality in your beauty essentials.